Really? Yeah. Dude, I don't know why I was so worried about your spine. No, it didn't hurt at all. I played that. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> okay. Let's uh <laughs> let's move on to science. <laughs> Alright you guys, here's what we're working with. I have picked up this at the hardware store as a test quantity. It says it penetrates deep into wood. Hey, I didn't say it. Okay. Reinforces soft wood fibers, forms solid base for filling. We're not going to be filling, but we do want the other two. We do want deep penetration. Pause for effect reinforcing soft wood fibers. So there's that. I have a bristle brush to apply it with and kind of help, you know, a little this, a little bit of that, maybe some of that. And then this is the wood that I took from the barn. I was really worried I was going to have to get real aggressive with this to show you how dry rotted it is, but then just picking it up, this started falling off. So this is what we're dealing with. It's bad guys it's really not good it still looks like wood up here it's got knots it's got grain um but it's really bad the whole floor has one rotten tree holding it up and the rest of it is just these boards strung across six foot spans so this guy did not give me a quantity and so i have no idea how much of it we have to apply i'm just gonna soak it it's supposed to absorb into the wood itself and then leave the hardener inside the wood fibers. I'm just gonna put it on there and see, and then we'll probably need gallons and gallons and gallons of it. I'm gonna take it down to the wood shop where it's not minus three degrees because this needs to be in 40, 45 degree temperature and put it on the wood, leave it for a few hours, see what it does. <laughs> Instructions. Now, nah. always shake it. Never read, always shake. Okay, so I got a little heater hooked up to heat right across the top of that because it's supposed to be at 45 degrees or something like that and I don't want to leave the heat cannon running that whole time. Also, apparently this stuff is mega flammable and so this, I guess, was a really bad idea. Also, I melted the hair off my knuckles. It's all curly now. So, that was a bad idea, but I still would have done it, I think it's cold all right it actually only said to leave it for like it said quick dry. four hours yeah but i left it all night because i want it to work well so it does feel a lot better it's harder it's kind of oh dude maybe a little bit tacky dude this is part one of the two part no it's not yeah it is it says allow to harden for two to four hours before filling with minwax high performance wood filling. No, that's if you're filling like a oh, okay. like a hole. Like if you wanted to fill this <clears throat> right here, yeah. then you would have to put wood putty in the hole. But they don't want you to put the putty directly in here if gotcha. it's dry rotted. And put your hard hat on. 
Dude, what's the rock for? <laughs> Why'd you tell me to put on a hard hat? Dude, I just want to make sure the hard hat's going to work before we hit you with something dangerous like rotten wood. Make sure there ain't worms on it. Whew! That one looks pretty <laughs> solid. Just close your <laughs> Because we're basically dealing with wood spread across floor joists at the barn. We can put them between these boards and just drop heavy things on it. Sure. Small log. Three, two, one. I was worried about yeah. that one. Let me try it on the on the penetrated wood. It did seem better. It seemed it really good. All right. Log number two. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> How heavy do you think this is? Dude, not it's five like pounds. a pound. Yeah. Pound and a half. <clears throat> no. So how many of these boards, if you stepped on this, how many of these boards would it take to hold your weight if this is a pound? <laughs> 280 <laughs> 280 boards. <laughs> Penetrated wood. Oh, oh no! No better. We didn't even make it to the rock. No better. Like, maybe it a little bit. It seems lighter, though. Does it? It seems like this, the treated wood, is lighter. And you would think it would be darker. Because it clearly darkened the wood. On the outside? Yeah. So why would it lighten the inside? I don't know, man. I think this is bogus. It's gonna be it may bad. not be good for penetrating <laughs> deep and reinforcing wood fibers. But, but we it. did find what it is good for. <laughs> Right, guys it's outro time and this was a complete failure so that's kind of a bummer way to end but our quest for deep penetrating wood reinforcer will continue and I'll let you know as soon as I find something hey on a scale from 1 to 10 since I hit you over the head with the wood how randy have you been Dude, 42 and a quarter 42 and a quarter yeah. on the randy scale oh yeah it's up there it's I don't know if it's even safe to be this close to you when you're there. Should I send you home? <laughs>